who have disabilities that they can't do, they don't do certain things. So I really want to help break down that that barrier to help people um, realize that they can, um, that people with disabilities are very productive and they do many things in society. <clears throat> So on to part two, disability, a proper definition. <clears throat> According to the Americans with Disabilities Act, <clears throat> that is the definition of disability, a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities or major bodily functions of such individuals having a record of such an impairment, or being regarded as having such an impairment, as described in that paragraph above. These are some areas of major life activities which are listed in the Americans with Disabilities Act. As you will see, it covers a lot of, a lot of things. <laughs> so, uh, including, you know, working and reading, learning, it's all classified under as being uh, disability under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And on to the next page, major bodily function. This is something that I I found very interesting, and especially the reproductive functions. You will hear that later on in my presentation, where that has come into play for a lawsuit that somebody placed, and they actually won. So. Um, just keep that in mind for later on in my presentation. I apologize, this did not show up, the graphs here, they did not show up well on the black and white copies. Mm -hmm. But this first slide here, it represents the United States is the big circle, and imagine 20% of that is represents people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And this first, you know, the second slide there on page four. And so that's 20% of everybody. So one out of every five people in this room, you know, statistically would have a disability, which mm -hmm. include, I see many of you wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. So that is classified as being a disability. You know, hearing loss and, and other things. So the second or the last slide on page four, it represents the population of New Jersey and there's also about 20%, which is that piece that showed up, mm -hmm. actually represents the people in the state of New Jersey who have disabilities. It, it was stapled wrong. <laughs> so it goes on to page five where there's a third graph. Yes. Which I broke it down even further to New Jersey and the county of Camden. So there are, um, you know, so that little darker shaded piece that represents the number of people in the county of Camden that have disabilities, which is about 88,000 over the age of five. And I was, uh, this past weekend, I, was, I took part in a fundraiser walk for Bill Jake's Place, which is a nonprofit organization that is going to build accessible playgrounds for children. Mm -hmm. And they have a statistic that says 12,000 children will be able to participate and, you know, take part and, and enjoy this playground. Mm -hmm. So and that's in the county of Camden. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they did their research and there's 12,000 children. Uh, who have disabilities that would, you know, be able to enjoy this playground, which, you know, I was very pleased and very happy to take part in such an event because I didn't have that as a child. Mm -hmm. You know, an accessible playground. Like, wow, I'm, I'm excited to see what it will look like. They're starting to build it in the fall. So with our view, I had, uh, I believe it was 27 people that joined my team to walk here at Cooper River uh, this past Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I just thought that was interesting to... You know, to see this graph here that, you know, says 88,000 people. So out of that, you know, 12,000 of them are children. 
they're building the playground over uh, on Brace Road and Crescent over by uh, the coastline is over there. Oh, okay. And there's a lot of uh, park area and farm uh, old land there that they have uh, been able to purchase. It um, it costs three hundred thousand. As of Saturday, they were only thirty thousand short. So they did receive a grant from CBS. Uh, Fifty thousand dollar grant, I believe, from CBS mm -hmm. that they have to use that money by, I believe, October or November of this year, or mm -hmm. they'll lose it. Mm -hmm. So there will be uh, many other events going on this, you know, this summer to help them raise money. Mm -hmm. But Pennsylvania Schools raised thirty three thousand for them for this event that was held on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So just the school district of Pennsylvania. So, like I said, it was very uplifting and uh, very rewarding experience to take part in. Uh, the next slide here is a common list of disabilities that people, you know, are familiar with. Hearing, language and speech, learning, and mobility, and visual disabilities. So at this time, I would also like to do another activity. Um, do I have any volunteers or do I need to call on those? Okay. 
10, yes, 10 years, you know, and there's 15 steps to go to my bedroom. We have a chairlift. I have never used it, I don't think. <laughs> Just because I can walk the steps, so I choose to walk the steps. You know, that's like um, the walk that I did the other day. I did, you know, the three and a half miles around Cooper River in my wheelchair, you know, with a group of friends. So it's... <laughs> So it's, uh, it is a personal choice of mine not to have one, just because I do, you know, I like to stay as active as I can just because I'm grateful for that. So. And you know, Arthur, that was one of the things they said at the hospital. Um, at CHOP, Jeannie and them were saying he could get a motorized uh, wheelchair, but a lot of times the kids at that age, they, they become so dependent on it, they, don't want, they won't want to walk. And that's one of the things, he didn't have that option, his dad and I would not, especially his dad, no. He has to try to do what he can on his own. You're not going to make me. I won't, I won't, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save that for Lewis a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have those skills. <laughs> but I would like for you to pick yeah, that up. up. <clears throat> hey. Oh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little, uh... Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you put it right next to me. <laughs> he put it right next to me. <laughs> he was kind. What else is in my head? Tricks. Okay. Um, could you bring the chair over here and make this up? to people 